I am very sure that today you will not be able to count how many people will say to you, congratulations. From among those attending this Mass at the Church of St. Ildefons, and later on from your own Facebook page, you will see countless people, meet countless people, saying to you, congratulations or thanks be to God for all the best or greetings similar to that. I am very sure also that you will not receive a greeting that sounds like this. Emil, wala kang kwentang tao. I am your friend and I am your brother and I love you. And that is why I will say to you, Emil, talagang wala kang kwentang tao. And when all the greeters have gone home, and you are alone in your room tonight, face the mirror, and be able to say to the man you see on the mirror, talagang wala kang kwentang tao. You were born, you were conceived in sin. It is hurting. It is humbling. It might not be the flavor of the day, but that is the truth. Because Satan wants you to believe that you are very important. Repeat that to yourself before you sleep. Wala akong kwentang tao. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. Pinili ko tong Bible verse na to sapagkat maraming beses sa aking buhay na ako'y nangamba, na ako'y natakot. Ngunit patuloy pa rin akong minamahal ng Diyos. Patuloy na sinasabi sa akin na huwag kang matakot, huwag kang mangamba sapagkat ako ang iyong Diyos. Hindi alam ng aking mga magulang na ako'y nag-exam sa seminary hanggang nung isang araw, nung isang pari na aking pinagsabihan na gusto kong pumasok sa seminaryo ay sinabi sa aking mga magulang pagkatapos ng misa. Magkalipas ang ilang, ilang linggo ay hindi kami nag-usap ng aking tatay sapagkat nung una ay ayaw pa niya akong papasukin sa loob ng seminaryo. June 10, nung papasok ako sa loob ng seminaryo and laking gulat ko and laking tuwa ko nang inihatid ako ng aking mga magulang kasama ang aking tatay na ilang linggo ko na hindi nakausap. And dito po nag-start and until now, until this day, na ma-ordain ako as deacon and very supportive pa rin ang aking mga magulang lalong-lalo na ang aking tatay who is my prayer warrior from the very start This morning you will be configured to Christ Christ the deacon Christ the servant Christ who feeds the poor, the orphans, and the widows. You will be configured to Christ. And when you preach, it, will, it is Christ who will use your tongue. And when you baptize, it is Christ who will use your hands. And when you guide people, when you give bread to the hungry, when you console the sorrowing, when you give alms to the poor, it is Christ who will be acting in you. Ang kwento ko ay kwentong walang kwenta. At ako ay taong walang kwenta. Subalit, hinirang ako ng Diyos. Hinugot mula sa putik. Hinugot mula sa maruming tubig. Para gawing katulad ni Kristo. Do not forget that you have been wounded and broken in the past. Because if you forget, and allow this ordination to enter your head, the Lord Himself will cast you down from your self-made pedestal. And you will come crumbling because the Lord 
cannot tolerate pride and arrogance among those whom he has chosen. After being infused with the fullness of grace of the diaconate, where do you go from here? From here, you will go forth in a life of voluntary emptying. The diaconate is not a movement from rags to riches. The diaconate is not a movement from anonymity to popularity. And if the diaconate brings you to popularity, and if the diaconate brings you to more power and more ambition, then you have abused the grace of God because this is not what the diaconate is for. Ordination is not just an event. Ordination is a lifelong process towards emptying. Three words to remember October 1st, 2020. You were inborn wretched. You were infused with the fullness of love. And you have been called to a life of emptying. The ordination rite will end when you breathe your last. When the time comes for you to face the Lord, you can just say to the Lord, Lord, I was born nothing and you filled me with grace. Now I am back to nothing, but I am back to you. Do not forget, wala kang kwentang tao. At kung may kwenta ka lang, ito'y dahil sa Diyos. At dahil may kwenta ka na ngayon, kailangan kang tumulad sa Diyos na bumalik sa kawalan to return to emptying voluntary, cheerfully, gladly. Empty yourself so that the Lord can truly shine in your life.